Hey guys, welcome back to my little series where I'm making Bob's Burgers Burger of the Day recipes, vegan and gluten-free. So today I'm gonna go ahead and make the Onion Ring Around the Rosemary Burger from Season 4, Episode 19, The Kids Run Away. This burger is stuffed with red apple and margarine and comes topped with rosemary battered onion rings. Mix four burgers with extra onion rings. The ingredients are vegetable or canola oil for frying, two cups all-purpose flour, do not use no purpose flour, it's useless. Two eggs, two cups of milk, three tablespoons chopped fresh rosemary, two large Vidalia onions, thickly sliced and rings separated, one pound ground beef, one large red apple, cored, peeled, and diced, one tablespoon chopped fresh marjoram, four slices cheddar cheese, mayo, four buns, and green leaf lettuce. So as I talk about the substitutions I'm using today, you're gonna see how much of a mess I am right now because I made some mistakes. Anyway, so oil is oil. I'm not gonna deep fry these onion rings. I'm just gonna pan fry them, so I'm just using like the oil that I have. I didn't get anything special for this. For flour, I'm using Bob's Red Mill flour, gluten-free of course. And for an egg, I'm using psyllium husk powder. I just have regular unsweetened original almond milk for milk. As far as rosemary and marjoram, Rosemary and marjoram are both in this Italian seasoning blend that I already have and I'm not someone who's gonna buy something very specific or large that I'm only ever gonna be able to use in one recipe. So I already have and use this frequently and it has those two seasonings in it so I'm just gonna use this. As for the onion, I was like grocery shopping and I'm like oh, I already have an onion at home like I know I already have an onion so I'll just use that and it'll be fine. I don't need to buy another special onion for this. Well, here's my onion. I used it, some of it, in another recipe, and it's all already sliced up, so I can't make onion rings out of it. I'm gonna make, like, onion fries, and you know, it's still gonna taste the same, it's still gonna be awesome, it's just not gonna be the same shape. And for the meat, I have got the other Impossible patty from two videos ago. I have an apple. For the cheese, I have chow cheese. This is just like their light one. I don't know if it's mimicking like Swiss or provolone or whatever, but it's my favorite one by them. Chow, feel gross. Mayo, I have here. This is Hellman's brand of vegan mayo. It's my favorite vegan mayo. I've tried veganaise. I don't love it. I do like this. It's very convincing to me. I'm not like the, the biggest fan of mayo in the first place, but this is good. I just borrowed some from my parents and that's why it's in a little jar and I don't have a full thing because I knew that I wouldn't eat the full thing. For buns, I have again this gluten-free ciabatta that I got at Walmart. The brand is, uh, I think it's pronounced Char, Cher. And then lettuce, I actually have a blend red and green leaf lettuce here. All right, so let me angle you down to my stove and we'll get started. All right, I'm gonna start with the onion rings first. I'm just pouring a little bit of oil in this pot right here. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of the gluten-free flour. Move our psyllium husk. Quite a bit of the Italian seasoning. And I'm gonna mix that. I'm gonna just slowly add milk. Just remember, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. Decently thin batter because that psyllium husk is actually a super strong egg replacer. This gets super thick. Since I already cut these, I'm just using some that are I'm just using some that are relatively uniform in size. Just so that they cook evenly. Obviously, if you're doing this from plate scratch, then you can cut actual onion ring shapes. I just got a little scrap of paper towel. The oil is also getting pretty hot now. You can test how hot oil is by sticking a chopstick in it and seeing if it kind of fizzles around. And now if you can see the difference, I hope you can. This is quite a bit thicker. So we're ready to start battering. I'm just going to dip them in and put in the oil. As you can see, it's a very sort of light, inconsistently covered batter. I'm not super worried about that. I'm assuming as I continue, they will be a little bit better because the, the husk is still getting thicker like as we speak, but 
Again, these will taste good. I'm not a professional. And get started with the next batch. All right, now that I have a little bit better of an idea about how long those are gonna take, I'm gonna actually start over here and I'm gonna peel my apple. pretty against the use of oil in cooking and it is very strongly solidified now because it keeps like biting me. Not a fan. Alright now that this is hot I'm gonna add the patty. And then on this side in this butter I'm gonna put the buns because I like to toast them. And once I start to see the little bit of like browning on the side of the meat here, I'm going to flip it. Alright, and as for the instructions, now that all the onion rings, quote unquote, are done, just hit the top with the salt. Now I'm going to add the cheese to the burger. And those are nice and done. Now I'm gonna do the trick I did last time. Let's pop an ice cube in here and cover it. All right, look, we were able to get the cheese to kind of fold over the sides and get all melty. So I think we're ready to start assembling. Mayo on the bottom bun. Add your cheeseburger. Lettuce is in the ingredients, but it's not in the final instructions, so I'm going to put the lettuce on right now, then some onion rings. So that look crispy and nice, and top bun. Ta-da! Alright, so here's the finished burger. I'm going to say, of all the ones I've done, this is the prettiest one. Like, look at the cheese and the lettuce sticking out. Like, this looks awesome. I'm going to cut it in half, as usual. You guys have no idea how high my hopes are for this burger. Look at the inside. I picked it up wrong. Anyway. I tried to get, like, the medium rare look on the meat, which I think that I accomplished. Wow. Moment of truth. I tried an onion ring already, so I know that they're good, but... I don't know if we can hear, but it's still crunchy and good and it tastes just like an onion ring. Now, if your favorite part of the onion ring is the onion, perfect. If your favorite part of the onion ring is more the batter, then I would say maybe making a batter with like just egg, maybe double battering, maybe battering this and then dipping it in like panko or something equivalent to that would be perfect. But they taste so good, they taste legit, I promise. Yeah, I definitely save the best for last. This is my favorite one I've made. This is so good. I thought the apple in it was a little bit odd, but actually eating it all together, super good. It makes it like extra like sweet and moist. And the onions are also sweet because they've been fried. <laughs> and it's so soft and the textures are so good. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> you 100% have to make this. This is, this is so good. Seriously. Anywho, thank you for joining me while I've made these Bob's Burgers recipes. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. If you did and you're interested in something similar, either more recipes from this book or something like veganizing popular fast food items or something like Big Mac, like I will definitely make an honest effort <laughs> to do something like that. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go back to making raw food recipes. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.